Hello there. For this video, we're going to use these domed hearts that we made in uh, video 966. And we're going to use these to make them into a different embellishment. So, because this is rather plain, and I want to show you something else you can make with them. So I've got a one and an eighth inch postage punch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a couple of these. This is really thick cardstock. All right, so let me put this away. There. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, whoops, and let's see how many different colors are there. We'll do one of each color, or five different colors anyways. Come on, green. And this plaid. pink, plaid. All right, so we got them all. wee -haw. All right, I guess we'll do another purple. There, okay. And I can remove this off of here. And I can put this back, and I will attach this video so that way you have the directions on how to do this to make those domed hearts. All righty, so let's see. Take off the back release paper on there. Oops. And then we can put this on here and press it down. So now it should be adhered. Very good. All right, let's just do that to the other ones. I'm trying to line them up nice and even. All right. So simple, yet so pretty. That's why I'm, I like making very simple embellishments because then you can add them, you know, you can pile them up. You can make other things out of them too. There, and one more. There, okay, so now they're all adhered to that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pin and I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna poke a hole through each bump. Just so that it's pierced. And this gives it a neat look to it. This is something that we used to do way back in when when we were first starting to stamp because we didn't have all the supplies that we have today. So this is an oldie but goodie doing the paper piercing it's called. And there are paper piercing tools that you can buy but this is essentially what it is. All right, so I'm gonna show you both, one with the piercing and one without, so you can see the difference. Isn't that pretty? It just makes it look lacy. What do you think of that? Isn't that fun? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these ones. You can do these in whatever color you want. But I thought the white backgrounds, white or black, I, I really like those contrasts. All right, now this blue, purple one, I'm gonna do with my other hole punch. With this eighth of, or sixteenth of an inch. I think that's what it is. And then, cause I wanna see what that'll look like. Is that gonna be too big? I don't think so. I think it'll be fine. All right, so let's, I, may, I probably should have done it before I put this on, but we'll see. If I have to take the heart off in order to do it, then I will. 
and it's hard to center it up, but I'm gonna try it. All right. <laughs> this makes it look extremely lacy. I love this. So you can do it with a needle like I did or your hole punch if you've got a real tiny little hole punch. And this is way over, so I'm going to have to move this out of the way. All right, can I get that up without ruining it? Or push it out of the way. Let's see. Maybe I could push it. Is there enough room? Oh, yes, okay. I can do it just to do it. Yeah. Okay, push it out of the way. And I just did it again. All right. I'm actually impressed. There. That is adorable. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And, of course, I like that one better, but that's a lot more work. But I guess if you punch the holes out first and then put the hearts on, it would be a lot easier. All right, so let me hold this one up with this one. Here, here's the two purple ones. So with the needle and then just actually punching the holes. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and it looks really lacy now, doesn't it? All right, that's fun. All righty, I kind of got that one very even around. I'm gonna do another hole punch one. So which one do you like better? Do you like the, the needle or the hole punch? There, all right. That sure is paying dancey, isn't it? All right, I've got one more. What should I do with that one? Don't I have, yeah, let's use this one. This pokey tool, this might be a little bit bigger. Actually, it would be deeper if I used this instead. Let's use this. This Kim Steele made for me. And I cut her name off the envelope and I stuck it on here so I remember who made it for me. Because that was so sweet of you to make that for me. There, so I'm gonna push this all the way in and then twist it. That's the actual perfect size. I like this one the best. All right. Yep, I'm liking this one the best. All right, so then I can put this back up on my shelf. Now look at this. Now I'll show you one of each. There's the little poke, the big poke, and the medium. There's three different sizes. Which one do you like the best now? <laughs> three different sizes. And this is just a pokey tool that came from the Dollar Tree. And it comes two in a package. So there you go. Three different ways to puncture holes in there. All righty, for paper piercing. Isn't that fun? Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna add a gem on these just to 
spiffy them up even more. So let's go ahead and do that. Because see, these ones I left just plain because I didn't want to put anything on until I used it on a card. So, but now if I just use silver, then I think we'll be good. So let's do that. I know I've got some just plain silver ones in here. As a matter of fact, I've got these, but those have to be glued on. Let's see, these need to be cut apart and then glued on. But that would be very pretty. And then these are just pearlies that have to be cut apart and put on. Nope, I think. I think I want to do those. That would be pretty. Let's do that. All right. Get them done. Right, right, right. Okay, let's put my needle away. Put my punch away. Get my little scissors out. And I've got five. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I can put these back away. Two left. Woohoo! Alrighty, so now I just need my glue right here in front of you. Glue right here in front of you. That rhymes. Alright, I know that was stupid, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> there. There, I'm just gonna put it down on the right bottom right hand corner and that'll be easy peasy. Okay, now I need my picker uppers. Where did my favorite pair go. Did I move it? Did I leave it out? I left it out. Alrighty. That's pretty. I love how hairy these look when you cut the little pieces of fiber apart and it leaves like a little furry look to it like it's a spider body or a butterfly body or something there that's cute all right now I'll bring one of each up and show you there's that one there's this one there's this one and there's the green one there you go what do you think of those It's pretty cool. All right, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.